Welcome back to LR Live UK. Thanks for joining us. Today's episode is going to be all about lighting on your Land Rover Defender. So let's get straight into it. Now, as with everything on a Defender, there's such a huge array of options for you, and it can get a bit confusing, to be honest. I mean, obviously, with Land Rover themselves using loads of different iterations of combinations of lights on the Heritage, on the Adventure, um, going from LED to standard Y-Pack to aftermarket, it really is a minefield. Even just putting this video together has actually been quite a challenge because there are so many options, but I'm going to try and break it down step by step and I really think that you'll get an idea of what options are out there and what's best for your Defender. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break it down into two separate categories, if you like, um, colored and not colored. That's the easiest way to do it. So if we go for colored first, <clears throat> you've got an option here of uh, fitting the standard OEM YPAC uh, lens here. Now this is, um, this is the lens that was actually fitted by Land Rover for the majority of the run of the Defender, and uh, that will give you sort of your classic look um, and it will keep it in keeping with uh, a restoration. Um, you've got an aftermarket option here, it's a little bit darker, similar fittings, it's a lot cheaper, build quality is not um, as good as the wide pack, we'll get into that in a moment, but they're the two options you've got with colour. You've got um, one more option, you can go for an LED colour. So there are your three options um, of what you want to go to. And bear in mind, this is the original type, this is the aftermarket type, and this is the LED type. And actually, retrofitting LEDs is applicable to any Defender, the way they're fitted, which I'll go into again in a moment. These two LEDs here, I've got a smoked option and I've got a clear option. Now, when you look at the smoked one on its own, it doesn't actually look that dark. And it's not, to be fair. Um, but it, if you get it on a vehicle, and it's on a dark vehicle, it does look really stealth. It does look really nice. Um, if you want to go for something a bit cleaner, maybe you've got a heritage or something, or just a standard um, build, you can go for the clear lens there. So that should help you decide whether you want to go for clear or coloured. But what you've got to remember is, obviously, you can nowadays buy the standard traditional lens in clear, and you can retrofit the internals and the bulbs to suit. So you can have clear traditional bulbs all around the vehicle with clear lenses and you can run red brake lights, uh, orange indicators and clear side lights. Now, as far as fitments go, um, I want to just talk a little bit about the difference between the original OEM one, which is the Y-Pack, as I said before, and the aftermarket. Uh, bearing in mind, this one is the cheaper option. So when you look at the fitting there, uh, there's no spurs on this part um, to help the location. Inside there, you've obviously got those two prongs. Uh, that's pretty standard. You have got a foam gasket. And the way that works is you twist this holder and you pull out your lens um, and your holder there. So um, they all work in a similar sort of way. And that assembles quite nicely, to be fair, as an aftermarket one. They come with the screws. Then if you go to the Y-Pack one, you, you know, you've got spurs on both sides to help location. Uh, you have got the foam gasket. This is a slightly better fitting, if I'm honest, and the plastic feels like a better quality. With aftermarket parts, you are paying a budget price. So you are getting a budget product. You know, at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with that. You've just got to be conscious of what you're handling. So what I would definitely recommend is greasing up these assemblies before fitting them. And that goes for you know, OEM, aftermarket, high-end, whatever you're using. Just get some Electrolube, if you like, or just regular grease will work. Electrolube's designed um, for electrical connections, and it's designed to work with plastic, and that's the most important part. I'd also recommend not inserting these into the connectors without a bulb fitted. The reason for that is, if you see inside here, you've got these metal um, connector tabs. Now, they're just pressed into that housing. And when you actually assemble this together, so if I just show you, push this together, if for whatever reason they don't line up perfectly, you end up pushing these out of position. Whereas if you've got the bulb already fitted, um, they can't move as easily and there's more chance that they'll go together properly. Now, if I'm honest, I do like the traditional look of a YPAC style lens, you know, the traditional lenses that were fitted to Defenders um, originally but there is a lot to be said about the practicality of fitting these LED lights. You're not gonna to need to replace these LED lights for a very, very long time. They're gonna continuously stay bright. 
they draw a lot less power from your battery system and they don't get hot. I have seen vehicles that A, might have a short or someone's put the wrong wattage bulb um, in the vehicle. So they might have um, a side light and they're fitted a, you know, a 21 watt bulb in there. Somehow they crammed it in and it's working or the housing's wrong and the lens has just melted away. I mean, I'm sure you've seen it yourself. So, you know, as far as a fire hazard and actually just being a bit rudimentary, I mean, these lenses haven't changed, like you say, for about 50 years. Now, obviously it's purely down to what you like best, but personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with fitting LED lights to a, a Defender. I, I really don't mind a, a classic vehicle being modernized to make it a better daily driver. And these LED lights are so much brighter, you know, just for practical uses on the road, you're gonna be more visible. I mean, we do know that Defender lights are shocking um, at the best of times. They're like candles. And um, you know, these LEDs are super bright and they do make a difference. So brake lights, you're giving the person behind you a much better chance of braking in an emergency. They're gonna see you, they're gonna see your brake lights. And even other road users, when you're indicating to you know move around in traffic, there's a much better chance they're gonna be able to see you with these LED lights uh, than with a standard light. And hopefully you'll get an idea of that with me showing you them lit up now, just what a difference it can make. Now, as far as retrofitting them into a Defender, it's super easy because if you've got a 300 TDI or a TD5 onwards, um, you're gonna find you've got these connections on your vehicle already. So this will just be a plug and play uh, piece of kit. Um, they use the same fixings as the standard um, YPAC lens. So can you see here, we've got the two screws on either side and you've got the same aperture here. So these just go straight over the top. They don't go into the vehicle, so they're not collecting moisture because obviously uh, the back of the rear panel, for instance, on a Defender does collect mud um, and moisture and it all, I mean, I've taken these out of Defenders and that has just been a solid lump of mud around that lens uh, or around the back of the lens, as it were. So, you know, that is a real risk. If you've got a, a, an older Defender and you want to modernize it and you are modernizing it and you're thinking, well, maybe I will actually fit some LEDs, you can still do it very easily by buying a wiring loom. So these are available off the shelf. This is just a conversion kit. All you'd have to do is strip out the wires that are on your vehicle already, uh, fit some female bullet connectors so you can push these straight in. But if you've got the time to sort of, um, you know, strip your old wires back, uh, solder them and put a plastic um, shrink sheath over the top, that's gonna to be a far better long-term uh, solution than just pulling bullet connectors in because they corrode. If you're going for LED lights and you're going for LED side repeaters, you will need to uh, change the relay um, on your vehicle. Now this relay uh, from YPAC comes as part of some of the kits. I think all the kits that LR parts, for instance, sell um, do come with this relay. But if you're doing it yourself and you're sourcing the bits and pieces yourself, you need one of these basically because there's no resistance coming from um, these indicator lights, the way a traditional system works and the relay doesn't know to make them blink. So this actually addresses that problem. LED is by far the clear winner as far as um, a long-term investment on my vehicle. I know I'm paying more for it, but they're gonna be watertight, they're gonna be brighter, they're gonna be more reliable, and they're gonna be easier to fit. And at the end of the day, all those things work really well, and I'm not losing that classic Defender look. So definitely consider going for LEDs, but if you're a purist and you're an enthusiast and you wanna keep your vehicle, your Defender, completely original, um, there's two options there available to you. You can go for the genuine Y-Pack or the aftermarket. They both look great. Just bear in mind those little tips I made earlier about fitting them to your vehicle when you're setting a new set. So if you made it this far into the video, congratulations, you have just earned yourself 10% off any LED light set from lrparts.net. All you have to do is scroll down into the description, click on the link that takes you through to the sets that are listed and just enter the code LED10 at checkout and you will get 10% off one of those LED light sets. It's for a limited time only, so I'm afraid if you're watching this video in about uh, five years time, you've missed it, but there'll be loads more, don't worry. Just make sure you subscribe and you won't miss another one. So that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you very soon on the next one.